Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a PowerLab hardware setup with lab chart software to collect electrocardiogram or ECG information using um, wires like this. And with that, you can then look at heart rate or electrical activity of the heart. All right, so you can see this is the back of the PowerLab unit. Um, we have the power lab itself, which is this bottom box. We have an amplifier here, which uh, we're not going to be talking about in this video. And then we have the bio amp here, which is this top box, which is actually what the ECG electrodes are going to get plugged into in the front. Um, so we have the power labs already on, and we have this black uh, BNC cord here um, plugged into the back of the bio amp, and that's plugged into one of the BNC outlets on the front of the power lab. And that's how the information is going to get from the bio lamp to the power lab. We also have this series of these um, gray cords here going from amp to amp to eventually the power lab system right here. And that is actually the power cord that is going to um, uh, give power to this bio amp. All right, so this is the front of the power lab unit. So again, this bottom box is the power lab. This middle box is an amplifier, it's a quad bridge amp that we're not going to be using for this uh, setup. And then this top box here is that bio amp that we're going to plug the ECG electrodes into. So here is the black BNC cord that is plugged into the back of this bio amp box. I'm going to plug it into this, um, the first channel here. So there's channels listed 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on on the front of the power lab. So when you plug this in, you're going to kind of push it in, and then it's got this little um, top here that's uh, sort of a screw top that you're going to screw onto the channel. So I'm going to plug it in, so push it in, and then give it a little screw until it locks into place. All right, so here is the ECG electrodes that are connected um, to the power or to the um, bio amp that's connected to the power lab by this cord here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. So if you look at it, it's kind of got a weird shape to it. You want the cord coming coming to the uh, the bottom here, um, not sort of coming upwards like that. And there's a little slot on this right on the top hand side that's going to go. That's going to tell you where the top is. So that is going to get plugged into the only um, port on the top of the um, front of the bio amp. Just push it right in. Goes in firmly. And now everything is connected. We just have to attach the ECG electrodes. All right, so with these ECG um, wires here, there are three different uh, wires coming off. We have an earth or a ground electrode. We have a positive electrode and a negative electrode. And so the order that you put these on the body or where you put them on the body is going to determine which ECG lead you have. And so I'm going to go for ECG lead two because that is the most common lead used for doing um, electrocardiogram work, especially if you're only going to get one lead. Right, so putting these electrodes on are super easy. I'm just going to put it on myself and collect a little data myself here. And so you just find the electrode that you want. Um, these are just sort of uh, on there with a little compression. So it pops right on like that. And then the back of this is a sticker. So you peel off um, half of that sticker and you put it on wherever you want it to be on the body. So this one here is the negative electrode, so I'm going to put it on my upper uh, right hand side of my chest. So I'm just going to go down my shirt here a little bit and place that just like that. Um, of course, if you want to have the best um, connection possible, you'd want to clean the skin and abrade the skin, remove some, uh, some dead skin cells. But for a real quick introduction like this, I'm just going to just place it right on. The next one here is going to be the positive electrodes, so same thing, peel off this, the back of the sticker. This one's going to go on my lower left hand side, so I'm going to put it right there on my stomach. And then the, the last one here, which is the ground or the earth electrode, and that's going to typically be placed on your lower right hand side, um, which is going to be toward the leg lead. So this is the right leg lead, the left leg lead, and the right arm lead. So now that we have all the hardware connected, we're just going to come in here, click on lab chart 8, and you're going to see it going through some scanning. It's going to make sure that everything's connected that needs to be connected, and that everything's turned on. So we have the power lab, which is the hardware 
connected and it's got this green check, meaning it's powered on and it's ready to go. And we have a couple other things that we're going to ignore for now because it's not necessary for what we're doing. So we're just going to hit, hit OK. If all these were green checks, they wouldn't even ask you to hit OK. It, it would just uh, progress right through to the next screen on its own. Use um, settings files that have been preset up in order to collect other information or to do certain analyses um, already for you. Um, and doing that, so I'm just going to click on this first one here. Uh, this is just one that's set up to do hand grip trials with some blood pressure and some other things recorded directly into it. All right, so the only channels that we're going to be looking at in this file are the ECG channel and the heart rate from ECG channel. So this is going to be calculated directly from this channel um, in real time. So I'm going to hit start here and you're going to see that it's going to start to collect my ECG information. And again, I'm talking, I'm standing, I'm moving around a little bit so it's not super clean. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down with these uh, plus or minus signs here. So I'm going to hit minus. So you can see it a little easier, a little cleaner there. Um, so there's the ECG, and you can also see these little bubbles popping up here, these circles above each of the R waves. So that is the lab chart software actually detecting where the R wave is, and then using that to calculate the heart rate, which is what you see down here. So you can see heart rate going up, and you can see heart rate coming down. And um, if I did some sort of maneuver that might mess with my heart rate in some way, you would also see that change in here in real time. All right, so that was a real quick introduction on how to use a power lab system and some wires like this in order to get uh, ECG or electrocardiogram information into your um, lab chart software. And from that, you can do all kinds of very sophisticated ECG analysis. You can also uh, get heart rate out of that or do heart rate variability analysis. So I hope that was helpful. Please come back and watch another video and put any questions or comments you have down below. Thanks.